Hey guys, in this episode, I am going to be sharing with you a very special guest, my 10th grade art teacher, Mary Coy. Alright, this is my 10th grade art teacher. Um, we are in New York, and um, I touched base with her, and she invited us over to her house to do an art play date with a bunch of women. So tell me about these art things that you do and why you like doing it. Okay, well today was an example of a day where I invite folks over, and today it happened to be older folks. I think because I'm retired now and I'm hanging around more with senior citizens, I'm, I'm transitioning from middle school students to older adults and sharing with them the joys of creating. And today's group included people who are in the art world, who are painters and artists, and, and folks who have never picked up a paintbrush. And uh, it's intimidating for them, and I like to offer all people uh, the opportunity to try something creative, to go out of their comfort zone, um, to create something, and uh, hopefully to feel good about it, uh, you know, in the end. So today we happen to do rock painting. We live uh, near Lake Ontario and we picked up the rocks there. Um, and uh, we have, uh, I know that the people here are in all different stages of life, grieving, uh, the serious illness of their children, um, approaching old age, um, overcoming divorce, and so I like to try to use art as uh, an avenue for healing and for fun and just socializing and uh, I just think it's fun to get a, a bunch of women together. You have an art project, you have some food. Today we shared the event with some young children. <laughs> I think you might know them. And uh, you know, it's just, it's just part of my life. It always has been and it always will be. That's awesome. I love that um, from the time, like um, I did a art piece um, with uh, an idea that she had that I'll also do. We wrapped a big, a big thing with paper and then we ripped it open and then we had to bring an object in to come out of that paper. And mine, I chose to bring flowers and mine was the gift of spring and it ended up going to the congressional rotunda to be on display there and what did it, where did it get? A Congressional Art Award uh, by uh, then Congresswoman Louise Slaughter, who just recently passed. She was our Congresswoman for many years and uh, truly respected. And so you couldn't have had your artwork uh, chosen by a, a better representative of, I think, the values I espouse. And, uh, you know, the funny, the end of the story was that she, you hadn't gotten your piece back and your mom called me and uh, I happened to be going to Washington, D.C. next the next week with my three young kids and I just grabbed them by the hand and I said, let's go see our congresswoman and we knocked on her door and I said, where is Amber's art piece? She hasn't gotten it back yet. So I think within a couple of weeks she did. So that was a, an interesting exercise in... Um, how government works, me figuring out how to walk through the Capitol and, uh, you know, and getting something done, which is not done too much these days in Washington. I can always get political. <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Um, I love that um, we've kept a virtual friendship over the years, yep. and I love seeing that you do lots of creative things um, still, and it brings you joy, and that focus changes from your year and, and um, grows. I'm recording a video, sweetheart. And it grows um, in lots of ways and it just inspires me to, to try new things and to not be afraid um, to continue learning and growing. So. so just like we were just talking about that, you know, art is so vast and you can try so many different things in art, ceramics, 2D, 3D, painting, drawing. And no matter, and your life changes when you're a young student, you're doing what your teacher is asking you to do. When you uh, are in college, you're starting to explore more of what you want to do. Then life intervenes for a while and you have a family and you're trying to fit that art in or that creativity in. And I'm in a great place now in my life. I'm retired, newly retired. And my focus is um, 
now uh, combining art with birds because I've become an avid bird watcher and so now I'm painting birds, doing little children's books and uh, combining two of my passions in life and you know who knows where I'll, I'll take it in the next five years or so. So, And I'm so glad that we are connected. As I said, we haven't seen each other in how many years? A lot. A lot. I would say at least 20. <laughs> at least 20. And it's, it's almost like we, we've we known each other our whole lives, and uh, I feel so close to you. This is going to real. I'm so glad you came over. This was just a whole whim, and it all worked out. <laughs> Creative minds think alike. They we make do. it work. They you do. Know? And I think it's, a, it's, it's really neat that she invited us over, um, as well as our fine with our kids playing in her pool while we're visiting, and... Um, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, she's decided that she's going to be our, our Rochester grandma, yeah. and oh, oh, our fun. kids, <laughs> our kids are enjoying, um, our here, but I, I just love you and everything you do, and I love what you're doing, that you're encouraging people to be creative, because you can see creativity in so many different ways, and from a spiritual aspect. What I like is that when you create something, whether it's a drawing or a simple rock, what was on the rock or what was on the drawing didn't exist before. And so you think about it, if you believe in, in God, you think about the beauty of creation that is in front of you all the time. And I'm thinking, I'm just creating this little thing and I love it and I'm having a great time and it's beautiful and I hope it brings the world joy. If you, if you take that concept and you think about the beauty of creation and everything in this world, how beautiful it is and how important it is for us to take care of it. And so it's not just a, a creativity thing, it's a stewardship thing. It leads to so many other philosophies and beliefs and, and commitments to me mm -hmm. in my life. So it's not just creating art, it's appreciating what creativity is and what creating is and what we have in this world so it comes from that. the spirit so thank you for everything you're wonderful you're wonderful <laughs> thank you this was fun <laughs> isn't she adorable i just loved spending time with her and getting inspired and helping more people create if you want to create more jump on my newsletter list I'll be sending out some personal invitations to my subscribers to join me into some new exploratory adventures, so don't miss out. Have a great week.